Neil Batale here. I have Neilian.com, which is about physics and mathematics, occasionally about chemistry and some other types of science. So to solve the square root of 196, sometimes it's actually just more useful to leave it written like that as the square root of 196. Like if you're going to square that, it becomes 196 and it's easy to deal with. If you want to write it in a different form, sometimes you do that in school. Maybe you're not always sure why. Sometimes it is useful, sometimes it isn't. So if you're trying to simplify the square root of 196 and see it in terms of other roots, like in terms of the square root of 3 or the square root of 2, because those might be useful if you're dividing, say, by 2 of the square root of 3 or 3 of the square root of 2. If you're multiplying that, then it might be easier to work with. So for 196, you know that's an even number. So that means you can divide it by 2. So within the radical sign, divide 196 by 2. You're going to get 98. One trick to doing that is to think about 196 as being 200 minus 4. So 200 divided by 2 is 100. Minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. So 100 plus minus 2 is 98. Therefore, 196 divided by 2 is 98. And just by looking at it, you can see that 98 is still an even number. So you can divide that by 2. And again, you can use this trick if you want to. 100 minus 2 is 98. Therefore, 100 divided by 2 is 50. Negative 2 divided by 2 is minus 1. So 50 minus 1 is 49. Therefore, 98 divided by 2 is 49. Now within the radical, you have 2 times 2 times 49. If you divide by these things, you still need to keep them there because you're factoring them. So you're dividing, but you're still writing them as a multiplication. So you've got 2 times 2 times 49. 2 times 2 is a perfect square. 49 is a perfect square. So 2 times 2, it's the thing that when you multiply it by itself gives you 4, which is 2 times 2. And then 49, you probably recognize as being a perfect square. The square root of 49 is 7. So basically, you've got 2 squared times 7 squared within the radical. So it's the square root of 4, which is 2, times the square root of 49, which is 7. So it's 2 times 7, which is 14. So it turns out that the square root of 196, it equals exactly 14. And in this case, you do just want to solve it. You want to write it as a simplified radical, which turns out to be a whole number. But you also want to keep in mind in some situations that if you take the square roots, like plural, of 196, you can get either plus 14 or minus 14. Because plus 14 times plus 14 is 196. Minus 14 times minus 14 is 196. Sometimes it makes sense to use negative numbers, sometimes it really doesn't. What's called the principal square root is just the positive number, so just the positive 14.